Well, I'm excited for this video. G'day guys, welcome back to Layla Central. My name's Clinton, your average modeler, and this video is essentially a birthday special. Now you might be wondering, what do I mean by a birthday special? Well, I've just had my birthday recently, and in here, I've essentially got a couple of little things that I've got for my birthday, which I wanted to share with you guys, and I am super, super excited for these uh, things here. Now, uh, also to recap, uh, since my last video, uh, things have not gotten a bit, bit much better when it comes to uh, essentially my layer. I still haven't gotten any time to get into the shed here at the moment to do some hobby work. Uh, I am itching, it's driving me nuts and I will get there eventually. Uh, so to all my existing subscribers and to of course my new subscribers, hang in there. I will get some time to get back in here again very soon, hopefully. Um, just as much as you, if not more, I want to get in here and start playing and uh, indeed modeling again. So here we've got two little packages here that uh, I got for my birthday. Now, I've actually got some more stuff coming. Um, I managed to get these along with some money, obviously, for my birthday. And some of that money I've actually put towards buying some more stuff. So next monthly mailbox is going to be awesome. That's all I can really say. Uh, so in the meantime, let's see what I've actually got in here. So first off, we'll look at this fella right here. Now, I've been wanting one of these and I actually got one. So, as you can imagine, I am absolutely tickled pink that I managed to uh, get one, and um, it has made my day. So, and there it is. It is indeed one of the uh, the new packets made by Hornby. Now, the beauty of this one is also, if you can see this emblem, it's just actually the Portland Blue Circle Cement. So, this fella is gonna be an excellent shunter in my cement plant. Okay, I've just changed some settings in the camera. So as I bring this a bit closer, it should focus. There we go. So you can see the Portland blue cement um, blue circle. So that's gonna look absolutely amazing uh, with this. Now, the other thing that I've actually gotten is I've gotten my first Model U models so these obviously the double o models so this one's the uh, the crew driver operating the regulator and these are i mean this is my first time really seeing these because i am from australia i don't get to see these over here i don't go to any of the uk shows obviously um so as we take a look at this thing here there is a lot of great detail uh, on that driver there and we've also got just regular uh some loco crew so this guy's leaning leaning left so this looks quite uh, quite exciting, and I think they fit very nice in the uh, the packet itself. But in the meantime, let's get this out and have a closer look. Okay, so that uh, wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. And that model is divine. What can I say? Um, and those uh, that have been following my channel, as you're aware, I was a bit quite a bit disappointed with my. Um, Essentially, my um, O3 uh, diesel that I actually had I was a bit disappointed how it actually turned out, um, along with some other things, etc. So this one, I think, is uh, going to make me a little bit more happier uh, in that department. And um, wow, just uh, looking at this, the detail on this is phenomenal. So what I'll do is I'll pop this out. And the weight in this is actually quite, quite big. Absolutely marvellous. That there, ladies and gentlemen, I think I have a new favourite. But um, I guess obviously performance means everything though. Uh, so we'll see how she runs once I get a chip inside her. But, um, you know, just uh, looking, I'll drop the camera down a little bit so we can see a bit more. But um, this model is absolutely beautiful. We've got plenty of detail and the, the cab detail is just absolutely mind baffling. Okay, we'll try and see if I can show it in there, but oh, the lighting is terrible on this. It's um, actually give me a second. I'll grab my uh, I'll grab my phone out and I'll light the cab up and we'll see if we can get a better look inside. Um, this um, 
model has some exquisite cab detail. Right, let's have a let's see if we can get in there. Let's zoom in a bit. Come on, refocus, you stupid thing. Oh, I give up on this camera sometimes. Having said that though, let's see if we can just zoom that in a bit. As you can see, look at that cab interior. The pipes, the valves, the levers. That's got something. That is just, that's amazing. That looks beautiful. Very happy with this. Very, very happy. It's a beautiful looking detail. Lots of rivets and all sorts of things there. That um, looks quite good. As you can see there, a lot of... And this thing's going to look marvellous running, I think. Quite a lot of nice detail. Very, very happy. That's a better picture of the, uh, the cab. So that looks absolutely marvellous. And I think, uh, you know, having the Model U drivers, one sticking his head out this side and the other one leaning out, having a look, um, I think it'll look quite good. Okay, here she is on the layout, and uh, I think uh, obviously I need to run her in, so let's uh, start off pretty slowly and see how she goes. So I've now worn uh, this pecket in and uh, as you can see by some of the uh, footage that I've actually taken she's running very smoothly um, she's running very nice and slowly as well so I can see this uh, getting a lot of work uh, shunting around but uh, in the meantime I think I'll get her pulling some wagons and see what how she goes really Okay, so there we go. I've got a hook to a train, and uh, it is quite lengthy, uh, especially for a picket, as you can see there. Got all the uh, vent vans connected to her, and uh, just curious to see how she goes with her pulling power. Um, and, uh, I mean, given the weight of the locomotive, I'd imagine she'd be able to move all this quite well. But, uh, you know, looking at the size of her versus uh, all of this, so <laughs> we're not too sure. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes, but we'll fire her up and uh, see how she goes.
Well, as you saw then, the uh, train's running quite well, with the exception of one part there, which essentially the uh, picket's having a bit of an issue with this insole frog uh, double slip. Um, so basically, it enters the the uh, what do you call it? The turnout or the junction of everything right here, as you can see, the black frog right here passes that perfectly fine, continues over in a straight line right over. But as soon as it gets to this frog here, so we've essentially got one wheel over here, the third, uh, middle one here, and another one about here, she then decides to stall. Uh, but then she's got enough mo uh, momentum to push a bit, and then she continues on. So when she comes around, we'll uh, take a look. But uh, I mean, I uh, can't, uh, obviously, it's all wheel pickups, so I could take a look at the pickups. But um, as for everything else, including the uh, the electro frog uh, turnouts etc. She's running quite well without any issue. But uh, when it comes around again, I'll show you. What there we go. As you see there, so she's uh, she's got one foot on the actual frog there, and these other two are not. But uh, essentially, that's another you know two lots of pickups that should be working. So. Uh, I'll take a squiz at them and see how they are because uh, in my opinion she should be navigating this frog and this uh, turnout quite easily without any issue. Okay so I've just given the pickups and the back of the wheels a good clean and uh, we'll run her again and see if there's uh, if it made a difference. No, she's still halting right in that one spot. So uh, maybe it's through with the point work, but uh, I'll see if I can get one of my other trains to actually cross this without any issues. Okay, so I was done some further testing. I uh, thought the, you know, maybe the pickups were an issue. No, the loco is perfectly fine. Very strange, I've done some testing and everything, but uh, it uh, really struggles around this real dead frog right here. So uh, obviously with the uh, the electro frog turners such as these ones here, not an issue. It's just this fella right here, um, which there is quite a bit of a dead space there when you think about it. Um, but uh, but that's all right. I'm not too not too annoyed by that. Um, I would have imagined that you know with uh, six pickups, it would navigate through that perfectly fine but that's all right uh should be spending most of its time on obviously turnouts such as these ones with electro frog so she'll run not a problem so anyway i'll switch it Well, there you have it, guys. That's uh, essentially my wonderful little birthday gift, which I'm very happy with. And as you can see, she's pulling uh, 16 Acura scale uh, press flow wagons without any issues there. Uh, not press flows, uh, the chem flow uh, P PCV tanks quite well. And uh, she runs very nicely. I'm very happy with her. And uh, I think this will make a wonderful addition onto my uh, cement plant doing some shunting, etc. And of course, once I get around to painting the drivers and um, getting those put in, it's going to look even more better again. So, so anyway, guys, thanks for uh, tuning in, and uh, hopefully, it won't be too much longer, and I'll be painting those uh, Model U figures. And um, 
yeah but otherwise stay tuned bye for now and uh, take care thanks guys